What's up guys, welcome to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron, and if you're familiar with my channel, you will notice that things look a little different. I'm deciding to try something new. We're doing a little experiment, not sure how it's gonna work. So this is just kind of a fun little, little trial run just to see how things go. And if you enjoy it, then uh, you're welcome. And if you don't, then I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, just for fun, I decided to go on Facebook, specifically the Metalcore and Deathcore fans group, which is actually a pretty good group. There's not a whole lot of drama there like compared to like just the straight up Deathcore group and technical Deathcore group and the pop punk kids group. Uh, all those are absolutely, they're pretty tough to get through. But the Metalcore, Deathcore, they genuinely stick to music a lot, just a lot better dudes in this group. And I asked them, what bands have the best album artwork? And of course, it never fails. The first person to leave a comment leaves a YouTube video of a band called Contraptions of Akira. The song is called Dream. I looked at the, the picture. It's pretty cool, but I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to get in trouble for playing a YouTube video on, on my video. But the second one, uh, Roman Farrell, says that my band Oshikiri US has a pretty sweet piece done for our new single. And... Um, yeah, yeah, this thing's actually, it's pretty sweet. I like, I like how it's all black and white and the letters are all red, um, nailed and cursed. Uh, is that guy holding a hammer? Looks like he's hammering a doll. All this weird alien, alien spider thing. Uh, I don't know. It's got like eyes on its forehead. This kind of reminds me of the thing from, uh, if you've seen the movie Slither. <laughs> just one it's one of the craziest um alien movies i've ever seen where this guy basically turns into slug it's kind of what this reminds me of it's like a praying mantis worm uh i don't i don't even know what this is but it's pretty sweet and i'm pretty sure it's a pretty heavy duty death metal band and then we got david napier my life in a <laughs> mediocre metalcore band. That sounds like some kind of weird anime. Like, my life is slime or something. But the artwork in this is pretty sick. I love all the... Uh, I love the the angles that they use on this. And the detail. Like, in the fingers, you got the veins there and stuff. It's actually pretty sick. I like the colors a lot, too. It's, like, super intense, but, like, really playful. It definitely catches your eye. Especially if you're walking around, you know, Walmart or something. And then we have... Seed Feeder to the Sharks. The Beauty of Falling. I actually like this uh, album artwork a lot just because it fits, uh, one, the name of the band, and two, the album name. I mean, Beauty of Falling is obviously a beautiful angel thing falling. Feed her to sharks. Um, maybe she was pushed, and now she's falling in the sharks, and she's being fed to sharks. But I actually dig it because it looks like she's falling pretty fast, like a fallen angel or something. Her face is on fire, so she's going quick, pretty quick through the atmosphere. And you can see the moon back there. It's gigantic, like she's on a different planet or something. This one's pretty cool. It's definitely an older, an older album for sure. And then we have, not sure what the name of this one is. I've seen this album before too. Uh... I can't remember what the name of it is, but this is sick. This reminds me of... There's going to be a lot of anime references in here, just because that's uh, pretty much all I consume when it's not music. But this is like Berserk or something. This is so sick. If you've seen the new... Um, ah, dang, what's the name? Slaughter to Prevail, um, Zavali Abalo or uh, Abala, whatever that uh, music video is, that's Berserk, and that's basically what this reminds me of this is like some kind of weird devil demon thing or like something from spawn like mal bolgia it's like spikes everywhere and all these dead people it looks like this dude is just chilling here ready to walk into his belly or something where this random ass skulls hanging out this is pretty sick i like the colors in this one too it's pretty gnarly and then anything designed by stefan i actually clicked on that one too that's pretty he's got some pretty sick stuff this guy said death for like a lot of the people that didn't uh, post pictures, I went through and I found a picture of the album artwork that stuck out to me the most. This guy said death, cannibal corpse, and cattle decapitation. And while I will not be posting any uh, cannibal corpse 
pictures on here just because the video will probably be taken down because everything they do is pretty explicit. Cattle decapitation is pretty much along the same lines, specifically more of the stuff that I personally like. But death, this thing, the sound of perseverance, this is so sick. This, um, this picture that I found, it's a little, it's a little blown out. It's really red, uh, but I like it a lot. It's like this perseverance. There's people climbing up this hill, like they had to persevere to get there. But at the same time, it's like this weird, like cloaked looking thing. It looks like it's screaming. This is just, it's so sick and it fits like the death metal sound and it fits the sound of death so perfectly. I feel like this is one of the best albums that fits exactly what this band sounds like and this dude said converge hands down and yes converge does have some they got some stuff that isn't really that great but then i found this this bad boy right here this is freaking dope it looks like a statue or something there's a cloaked figure and it looks like it's holding like dead flowers or something maybe i i love just how extremely like sharp the detail is in this i don't even think i've listened to this album in like maybe like 12 or 13 years but this this is a sick ass album color I, I even love how it's just all black and white it's so simple like that too and the way how like the picture in the back like this is just all it, it's it's nothing it looks like water or something being dropped into water or maybe like something that's been burnt or something like that it just makes this image pop so much more. And then <laughs> Man of War. Yeah, Anthology. This is dope. I don't if I don't know if this is real. If it is, I just I don't know what these guys were thinking. I, I don't know how like everybody in this band looks like they're trying to be He-Man or something. Yeah. Wonder what kind of music they play. Meshuga. So, uh, damn, that's the smallest picture. I'm not really a fan of, of uh, Meshuga's artwork. Specifically this. This artwork, it's kind of weird because it's like... It's like something from like a 90s... like a, Yeah, like a 90s video game. Or something along those lines. It's got like that weird uh, computer graphic kind of thing. Like something... Uh, something from like doom i don't know it's just some kind of computer game where like you would meet up and this guy would tell you what you're supposed to do before you go on your your journey or whatever and he's telling you to shut up and quit speaking so you can hear him but i do like how i don't know there's a lot of blood here and it's coming I don't know, maybe he's on a period or something but i do like how he's randomly bloody he's got like this third random like after image looking hand thing but otherwise i just i'm not a fan of like the detail and honestly just the graphic itself. I've always thought, every time I saw the album, I thought it looked so freaking weird. Uh, John Blevins said, A version's crown, which, yes, this is sick. I love like this watercolor style art. This is so, so beautiful. Hell will come for us all. And I love how the album name kind of fits this too. I have no idea what's going on here. This thing kind of looks like an alien, but at the same time, it looks like some kind of demon thing, just super death metal to its core. There's like people, people like worshiping it. This is just gnarly. You got like planets in the background. Yeah, this is a sick album cover. This is probably one of my favorite ones on here for sure. And then we got, oh yeah, this guy posted what he was listening to. Rings of Saturn. Uh, this is another one that I'm not really that big of a fan of. Uh, they got some better album artwork. This one specifically, I'm not really that much into. Mainly because of the color. There's just so much going on. And it, it, that does fit, Ring <laughs> does fit Rings of Saturn sound, that's for sure. There's just too much going on. But I do like how they always incorporate this little Saturn planet thing where it says rings of saturn and i love how it's always like spacey looking this again it just looks like something cheesy like this is like some kind of weird power ranger battle thing between like a praying mantis and like the uh, weird alien thing that they have to fight uh we do rotted through i have no idea what this is 
but it i like how dark it is it, this is like one of those there's like a picture on the internet where it's like a ai generated artwork or something like that this is what this reminds me of where it's like there's a hand here and a hand here and a leg here and like another leg here it's like images of things that look familiar but they're not really anything at all i kind of dig this even though it's it's very simple there's not like a whole lot of detail and it's not really anything you want to look at for a long time but it does it does stand out quite a bit cannibal course for sure yeah not going to show that one uh arc sphere i actually just discovered arc sphere <laughs> admittedly not that long ago through the youtube channel i can't remember the dude's name but the guitar player and his his wife, they learn death metal music, super sick channel. But this thing, this is sick. Bleed the future. This is freaking gnarly. There's like a dead burnt thing here and it's like mouth is opening up. It's almost like two, it's like a dragon. Like here's like the nose and I guess an eye for the dragon and its mouth is open and like this gold stuff. It's like a person here and a hand reaching out. But at the same time, like, on the opposite side, it's like a burnt, like, skeleton thing. It really kind of looks like the the chocolate, like the crazy chocolate person off of uh, Spongebob, the worm. <laughs> the worm off of Spongebob, that's, uh, that's what this is right here. And then Born of Osiris. Yeah, Born of Osiris has some pretty cool stuff. It's very, uh, I, I feel like... They reuse the same kind of theme too many times, though. Uh, Tomorrow We Die Alive wins it for me. I posted this one. This is my favorite album from them. And honestly, this is some sick artwork. It's like some kind of weird robot thing holding... I don't, it almost looks like a universe or something. There's a bunch of them back here, too. I, I dig this. I mostly just like this for the color. And I like, like the smoky flame effect. I've... I, I like artwork where it's like that, where it's almost like a like an image that you're seeing, and it kind of makes it look like you're looking through like a portal or something. I'm a big fan of my band's recent EP artwork. Now, I couldn't read this one, but I told the dude that it's going to be in a YouTube channel. Just I'm not normally into like promoting uh, you, <laughs> like unknown bands and stuff, but in this case, you know, I'm not doing a review. They're not asking me to do it. So, I mean, here it is. The band is Null Existence and uh, Jehenna Complex. This is pretty sick too. I like it because it reminds me a little bit of a... It reminds me of two albums. Uh, the Act by The Devil Wears Prada, which is some dope album artwork compared to the trash that's actually on the album. And it reminds me of Shadow Intense uh, Melancholy. Just It's got the same kind of... Same kind of look to it. There's like this monster thing here, these weird like little goblin things. You know, there's just so much detail. Like when you look in the back, there's like these hands right here. It looks like they're opening up like doors or something. And then you got this weird staircase thing that you probably can't really crawl up going in this mouth. And there's like this dementor thing coming out. This There's a lot of stuff going on in this, but I like it a lot. This makes me like, I, I'm somebody who judges a book by its cover. And that's one reason why I wanted to do this. I would listen like the hell out of this album. Uh, anything by ROS already? Yeah, we were looking at that one. Uh, always loved Pathology's artwork. I never heard of this band, but dang, this is so cool. I love the purple colors. This is just ah, uh, this is so sick. I love everything about this. This weird like ritual thing, reborn to kill. It definitely fits. It reminds me of the movie like Reanimator. I love the colors and the graphics on this. It's like it's like comic book art. This is something you would see in like Tales of the Crypt or something. I love everything about this. Or like uh, uh, the Browning. Yeah, the yeah the Browning. One of their albums reminds me of this a lot. White Chapel in flames, and then we have Brand of Sacrifice. By the way, White Chapels of the Valley with that eye in the valley. That's that's an that's some sick stuff too i forgot forgot to leave a comment putting that one up there but lifeblood this is really cool i like how there's like a lot of a lot of stuff going on in here but it's really easy to understand what is happening like obviously this angel thing is 
escaping the clutches of this demon guy here. But I love how it's it's just so crystal clear looking. There's so much going on, but you can see everything. Like her hair, there's a lot of detail and a lot of work that went into this. Even the background with the cliffs and stuff, and this planet behind her. This thing's dope. Even the demon thing coming out of the flames, and there's a other like dead looking demons here. She literally crawled out of the hell of like looks like Antarctica or uh, whatever that planet is where the frost giants come from in Thor. That's what that looks like. You got Dream Theater, not Deathcore or Metalcore, but Dream Theater. Dream Theater, and they're they're all right in my book. Uh, this album artwork, Train of Thought, this is one of my favorite albums from them. But this is not really the best artwork. This isn't what I would put up there for sure. But this is pretty sick. It's pretty creepy for one of their newer or older albums, I guess you could say. It fits what you hear in this album. This has one of my favorite songs on it too. It's just such a great album. I love the album. Not a fan of the artwork, but I love how when you see this artwork, you know exactly you know exactly what it is. You don't really confuse it for anything else, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I like it a lot. What? That's a fat dude. Oh, they're all like zombie things. All right, that makes sense. There's like this, this giant monster thing turning people into zombies. He looks like a demon thing too. He's got all these, like, these blue tentacle things this is sick it looks like the tentacles from like independence day or something this guy's just wrecking these guys' lives the lady's face is all blown out and that dude yeah man this is sick i love the album artwork in this too i i really like how there's a lot of detail in like the demon but then like these buildings are like it's not a negative thing to say this, but they're super basic looking. There's like not a whole lot of time that went into this to bring more focus to what's going on right here. Uh, generally black metal. I black metal, but balance it out with crap music. I've never really been a big. I don't know too much black metal. I'm not gonna really say they have crap music because I don't. I mean, I mean, it's it's just a different kind of art, you know. But I will say. I don't really know too many black metal band albums that like stick out to me like all that much. Really like Warner Shore's new EP artwork. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty sick. I like their artwork too. What, what is this? I don't know what that says. Word, uh, I don't know. But this is pretty. This is pretty uh, demonic. I'm gonna assume it's a Osculum obs. And, um, maybe that's what that says. But this is kind of weird. Yeah, it's like this dude, like, crucified with two heads. Um, not sure if it's supposed to, like, represent something. I'm kind of wondering why this dude has two heads. It's, like, evil and not, or, like, maybe crazy and evil. I, I don't know. But I do like this. This is, like, a Slayer kind of album. Uh, I like all the symmetry and it's everything is pretty even and pretty based the eyes i like the colors too it just it makes it seem very dull like it's an older like it's an older kind of album yeah, i wouldn't dare say it's the best album but i'm so in love with the color my band's upcoming ep you want to say it's the best album dude it's your ep talk that uh, uh, talk this shit up man shores of lunacy misery i i dig this a lot too this is kind of like that thing with the where you can't really tell what's going on with the arms and legs and stuff. The artificial intelligence generated album thing. But this is like, you can actually see what's going on in here. This is like a Veil of Maya kind of thing. I dig this. The hands everywhere. And like the face. This is pretty sick. I, I would listen to this. This looks like some, you, this looks like you got some good music on it, man. I'm all about that. I'm not going to click on this one. Because uh, there's inappropriate things on it. Uh, this is alright. Uh, Cradle of Filth. I don't... Uh, this is just kind of cheesy to me. I don't know why. I mean, obviously, there's a lady bathing in blood. Cruelty and the Beast. I mean, I kind of understand why. But at the same time, I'm not genuinely a fan of any of Cradle of Filth's album artwork. I don't hate it. But it's just... Uh, it doesn't really provoke any, like 
new thought provoking stuff. Same with this Cradle of Filth album cover. I'm not gonna click on that one either because it's got some got some naughty things on it. This one I will click on though, just because this is this is more just straight up artwork right here. And Hell Followed With. This is this is dope. This is some really cool like almost comic book art. Ever like all these guts and stuff and skulls are spilling out of this demon woman. This is really cool. I like how it's kind of playful in a way. Just because this chick is, I don't know, hot, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, it's. I like the colors in this. I like the splash of blood, how it's going all up and everything. This is pretty cool. And Hell Followed With. I like the album, or the the band name too. I've never heard of them before. He's got an Instagram. And art. He does album artworks for bands you probably listen to. Yeah, look at this. See what we got going on here. See what kind of nonsense we got. Uh, don't know. Don't know. I like the blue. Faces are kind of weird. Tornado thing. Weird tower. Looks like something from Final Fantasy. Ooh. That's badass. I, I like that. And this, this is like a tool kind of thing going on here. I don't know how well you guys can see this. It's pretty blurry. But this is pretty cool right here. Oh, I can't zoom anymore. But yeah, I like this kind of tool looking thing. This is cool. I like how simple this is. Like a river of blood and the dude chilling here. I like this. This is very ominous looking. I like album artwork that's kind of kind of dark looking. Oh yeah, Distant, whatever that name is. And Within Destruction. I forget about this band all the time. I used to see this album like constantly at the record store that I used to go to. This is some awesome stuff. I could just look at this album artwork forever it probably wouldn't be good for me but this is this is it is like people falling oh that's gnarly this thing's got like i don't know if you'd count these but one two three four five six six mouths and there was all these people being sucked into it again this kind of reminds me a little bit of uh the movie slither <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that movie i don't suggest watching it uh but this out I, I love the color i love how it's a little blurred in certain areas and a lot clearer. Like it's very clear right in this area and it's kind of out of focus. Like the the lines aren't as, they aren't as like straight and sharp all through here. And then the name, oh, it's so clear. I, that That's dope, that is dope. Core folk power metal band from Italy. This is pretty cool. Folk power metal, heck yeah. You don't know, uh, Elven King? Never any, I almost said I didn't know what this is. I tried to read that even though it's right here. Um, this is pretty dope. It's like Peter Pan kind of thing. Birds like about ready to F that fairy up. I dig this. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like In Flames or something. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. In Flames. That's cool. I like this because of the color. The color is pretty cool. I like it. It's almost like a dark side of the moon kind of presence to it but i like how the fingers are like being sucked in the skull that, that that's some great stuff right there mastodon has some okay album artwork but i would say this is probably the best this is like uh, this thing reminds me of like pegasus and its wings are being like ripped off or something and again i love how like some of this is in focus and some of it isn't like this right here this is sick i'm all about that i'm not gonna click on that Say what? This is cool. What did he say? Say what you want about black metal. Oh, this is a black metal album artwork. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just reminds me of like some kind of ice planet or something. It's very typical. It reminds me of like um, the band The Sword. Something that they would do. And then Crazy Love Hawk Madlands. I didn't realize how long this video was going to be. I didn't realize I had so many stuff to go through. I didn't look at a lot of these things. This is cool. I like how this is almost like a Cartoon Network cartoon looking thing. And then of course, the art is murder. Honestly, I would I'd pick Hate before I picked this album, but I do like how this is like a painted thing and I love how there's a lamb like sucking on the teat of this wolf. That's that's some pretty cool imagery there. It's a good metaphor. Uh becoming the archetype terminate damnation. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's it. I just figured I'd try and give this a try and just do this this style of video. 
uh, yeah, just something simple, something like this. I'm not going to do like a tier list or an actual reaction video to this. I just wanted to give it a try, see how it works out. Let me know if you guys like it or not. And of course, I'm still always going to be doing reviews. This is just something fun. Decided to try out. And also, Request Wednesday will continue again next week as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Leave a comment below letting me know what you thought. Let me know what kind of thing, like if you would like to see a tier list or maybe something like along these lines I can leave in this in this forum group thing and maybe a question I can ask. I was thinking about doing like what like maybe choose between two bands or something super simple like that too. So yeah, again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. And consider subscribing and ring the bell icon if you want to see more of my stuff. I believe only like 30% or 20% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Help me and my channel out just more than you guys could ever imagine. I appreciate it more than you guys could ever imagine. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day or night. Whatever you have to be watching this, and I will talk to you guys next time. I was